I guess that's why they call it the Rainbow State. That is cool. We're going to talk now about this particular um, outlet. It's a receptacle. It's an actual GFI receptacle. And it's got some test buttons here. A test and a reset button. Now I'm going to show you how to work those right now. The reason why we're going to talk about this uh, GFI receptacle is because sometimes uh, the test button might pop out. And if it does, if you have an electrical panel in your house, sub-panel, or a panel outside, and if you look at the breakers, you might find out that the breakers aren't tripped or anything, and then you find out, hey, how come my plugs don't work? Well, if, if your plugs don't work in certain areas of the house, it's going to be because of this particular plug needing to be reset. Uh, sometimes you have this type of uh, plug uh, mainly in your bathrooms and also in your kitchens. So sometimes, sometimes this plug is connected to another plug somewhere else that may be the one that's not working and it's because it goes back to here. Some of them are tied in, uh, daisy chained inside the walls. So uh, look around next time your plugs are dead and uh, look for a GFI to see if it has to be uh, reset. I'll show you that. Okay, there's two buttons on here. Uh, generally, this side is the test button, and you have a reset button. So if that reset button is out, uh, this won't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this button, and that should snap this one out. And we'll see if we uh, can make it work that way. If we're going to put this, uh, push this test button, and the other button should snap out. You see how it snapped out like that? There's a little light there that shows up. Some, some don't have a little light there, but others do. Main thing is if that snaps out, you know your, your GFI plug is working properly. Now, if that's popped out um, and um, your power doesn't work, look for a GFI plug somewhere in your bathroom or the kitchen. And if you have something like that and some of your plugs aren't working, it could be because of that. So what we're going to do is now we're going to take this button here, this bigger button, and this is the reset button. Push that in. It should stay in. You see the light, that little light went off this, and it stayed in, and now I know there's power back to this plug. So if you press your test button, and if it doesn't re set. You press your reset button and you can't get your reset button to, to push in. If it doesn't snap and stay in, then you know there's something wrong somewhere. There could be uh, water somewhere uh, making it uh, trip out. It's not resetting for a reason. So, so something's wrong with it and it could be inside your GFI plug. It could be somewhere else. Look around and see what you come up with. But generally, the test button and the reset button is how to make these work again. The reason why sometimes they, they come out is if you touch something like that in the kitchen or your bathroom, your hands are wet, and you're unplugging something, it snaps out right there so you don't get shocked too much. Um, and then the test button pops out, or the reset button pops out and stops the power. So that's kind of how that works. So. Uh, in case anything like that happens to you, look around for your GFIs and that could be the culprit.